Welcome back to Barricade Rides. Videos for motorcycle enthusiasts. Back at my favorite place, Emerald City, Harley Davidson in Linwood, Washington. I'm here with my boy Dave. And the question of the day is, is a CBO worth it? We're gonna go through the Street Glide Standard, Special, and the CBO, and we're gonna compare the differences and let you guys decide for yourself. So David, let's roll this intro and get right into this video. So as Barricade mentioned, we want to compare these three bikes. Obviously sitting here, they look very similar. They're the same model, same basic bike, same frame. Um, they all have cast aluminum wheels. Some are a little more basic, some are a little fancier, some are kind of the ultimate. Uh, they both have, they all have six speed transmissions. They all have two into one into two exhaust. They all have Milwaukee eight engines. They all have the bat wing fairing. They're, both, they're all set up for two up riding. So what are the differences? Let's go through that. So on the standard, it comes with the Milwaukee 8 107. So that's the smaller of the Milwaukee 8 engines. Now, after riding this bike and a 114, the difference, honestly, stock is pretty negligible. They're both really great powered bikes. That one just does have that little bit extra, but for most people, the 107 is plenty. Um, it's got all the characteristics of the Milwaukee 8. It's got the engine idle temperature management system. It's a much smoother engine. It's four valves per cylinder. It's two spark plugs per cylinder. It's got single camshaft, which has been really easy to balance. So these bikes still have that, that they, they kind of built in some of that vibration, but man, these bikes run so smooth and they run cooler and more efficient. They're just a great engine. The other, the other difference is on these bikes. So there's the engine, 107, 114 on the special, and then of course the Screaming Eagle 117 high output on the CBO. So that is the ultimate in power. It's the ultimate in displacement. And of course, all of these can be modified, stage one, stage two, st up to stage four. Uh, so some other differences. First of all, this bike comes with the highway bars, but they're the traditional highway bars, right? The little fuller chrome. Of course, this bike is chromed out. The specials or the, the uh, standards are all chromed out against the color. These bars are different, but that's because we swapped them out. This is a different bar. I mean, bike give a little bit more height. Uh, it's a really, really nice riding position on it. The saddles on the standard and the special are the same. The bags on the standard and the special are the same, except that the special has the stretch bags, which kind of wrap around the exhaust, give it kind of that custom look, right? You'll notice the crash bars on the special are the low profile crash bars. Kind of cleans up the front end of the bike a little bit, a little bit lower. You can still mount pegs on there but it just takes up a little less space, still gives the protection that you want for the bike and for the rider. Another difference is the headlights. So the standard still comes with a halogen headlight, nice and bright. The special, however, comes with the Daymaker LED, which is about 50% brighter 
in, in my estimation, I think that's about right. So not only can you see better, but you can be seen better. And then of course the CVO comes with the Mac Daddy. LED Daymaker, adaptive, very, very cool light. So it actually throws more light as you're cornering in that, in that direction. Um, the CVO also has the low profile bars. The standard has kind of a little more standard um, intake on it. Um, it's, a, it's a pretty good flow. It's kind of got that ram air, so it scoops the air into it. So you could probably use that air cleaner with the stage one to the tune and the exhaust. I know that the special comes with the high flow. And that one you definitely can use with the stage with the stage one. So you're saving that money there. The CBO comes with kind of this, this snorkel air cleaner. Very, very large surface area for air intake. So you've got plenty of air coming in. Now this exhaust is factory exhaust, but it's it's definitely um, a little cut above in terms of performance. It's got the satin look on it, which matches a lot of the trim on the bike, right? Kind of sets it apart, matches this trim on the top of the engine. I really love these exhaust tips on this bike. You can kind of see it here if you get underneath this bag a little bit. Just really a nice finishing touch. You'll notice also the LED lights in the rear are different. These kind of these uh, strip lights in between the uh, the bags and the fender, whereas the other two models have the same twin, you know, kind of the lights they've been doing on the back of the touring bikes for a while now, you know, the street lights and the road lights. This one has been outfitted, the special has been outfitted with Vance and Heinz exhaust. It makes the bike sound really nice, that's all they did. They did the exhaust on this one, they did the handlebars on the standard, but again, just kind of showing people what you can do on the bikes. The difference in the sound is pretty noticeable. The CVO has the ultimate in sound system. It's completely redesigned now for 2021 um, con in conjunction with Rock Rockford Fosgate. Harley's gone through and designed this system. They put the speakers in the rear bags. You even have a, your amplifier for the system is located in the rear of this, of this bag here. Nicely tucked away, protected. The other thing the CBO comes with are just the extras. Um, it's got, you know, obviously the CBO badging all over. People want, got people want to remember that it's a CBO. It's the beautiful. Paint. Man, the pollen's really grips. thick. Heated grips. Heated grips. This is the Defiance Collection. Grips, floorboards, brake lever, rear rear pegs. All that's Defiance Collection. Really good stuff. The best you can get for Harley. Uh, the other thing the CBO comes with is a real leather saddle. This is ostrich leather. So it's famous for its durability and also its softness. Just feels really nice when you're sitting on it. And then just a little detail. So we got the red. Oh, oh yeah. You know instantly when it's got that little bit of color up underneath the heads that it's a CBO. It's got the Harley logo on the floorboards. Yeah. The other thing this bike comes with is a lot of the extras. It comes with a really nice CBO color, uh, cover. It comes with inserts for your bags, luggage for your bags. It comes with a Bluetooth headset. It comes with two key fobs, which, by the way, allow you, via the fob or via the dash, to have electric locking bags. This is amazing. And it's just loaded. Absolutely loaded. I really like the way this pinstripe color matches the color on the exhaust shields and some of the other trim on the bike everything just ties really well together stripe along there Even the badging on the side of the tank Harley it's Davidson just, written in yeah. and this sound system is crazy good that sound system in some of my cars over the years yeah you know, just really nice and full they've actually lowered the wattage on it but because it's so clean with the way the speakers and the amplifier have been designed you don't need that much power behind it, it sounds amazing that's all that really matters how does it sound 
Uh, this one, of course, comes with standard with ABS. It comes standard with RDRS. Um, has the special um, windshield on it versus just the standard curved. This lip helps deliver a little more air straight up. Gives you a little more of a pocket for the rider and the passenger. You've so, also got flush mount. Well, these gas caps are really flush clean. mount gas cap. Super easy to use, and then it just hides away nice low profile just everything on this bike the fit and finish is just second to none so people ask okay why the CDO is it really worth it okay so Ford makes let's take a Ford Edge now, got, let's go with the F-150 F-150 okay well except I don't know those models as well but basically you've got like the standard F-150 you've got the the X, long XLT, bed, the short long bed, long bed, short bed. Then you get up into two like wheel the drive, high end, two wheel drive, wheel drive, four wheel drive. You've got uh, like the platinum, right? Is yep. the platinum worth the money? Harley Davidson edition. Harley Davidson edition. So there's lots of different models for lots of different tastes. This is by far the most you're going to invest in a street glide, but it's a CVO. It's got all the bells and whistles. It's got all the stuff added to the bike. Really, the only customization you need to do on this bike, if you want to do anything, would be performance stuff. Stage one, stage two, up to stage four. Um, but this Screaming Eagle 117, right out of the gate, is just phenomenal. Phenomenal power. Nicely balanced bike. Handles so well. All of these bikes with the Milwaukee Eights are really nicely powered. All great yeah, bikes. Great center of gravity. Easy to ride. The CBO just offers those extra bells and whistles, the extra fit and finish the leather saddle, the extras in the bags, the better stereo, all of that is part of what you get with the, CV, with the CVO. And the CVO is also kind of one of those, it's like the pinnacle of Harley Davidson ownership. So for somebody that's had three, four, five, six Harleys, a lot of us kind of think, man, someday I'd really like to have a CVO. Just, just to say I had one, you know, it's kind of a, it's a special place to be. You're in a pretty rare air, pretty, pretty small number of people actually are able to buy these. Um, so it's a matter of personal taste. I personally could ride any of these and really enjoy the bikes. Same if, here. If I was, had the financial means and was able to buy the CDO, I absolutely love the way this bike looks, the way it feels, the way it sounds, the way it performs. So before we get going, the people want to hear how the street glide sounds, yeah. the CDO. So let's start that up and get a little taste of it before we get going and again this is cbo it's still factory we still have epa regulations and all that stuff but damn regulations <laughs> yeah Definitely gonna rip. Yeah, you can put different exhaust on and keep the heat shields. Now this one, just for sake of a comparison, with just slip-on mufflers, that's all they did. Now you get that bar. Still pretty understated. Not, you know, not hurting your eardrums or anything, but sounds really nice on the road you just hear that exhaust a little more kind of kind of resonates a little more and then this is just the factory exhaust as well all right thank you for showing us these bikes all right there you have it a quick run through of many of the differences between all three levels of bikes and they're all amazing bikes on their own just each one has something a little different, a little special to it, a little extra to it. But uh, post down in the comments, let us know which one you would prefer on your budget. 
and part and second let us know what you would pick if money was not an option yeah what if you won the lottery tomorrow? yeah which one would you buy like neither of us can just pick any one of these at any oh, moment I'm, but i'm actually loading them all three up right after we're done oh yeah so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe i appreciate everybody's support Thank you Emerald City Harley Davidson and Linwood Washington for allowing me to film here. If you guys need a bike and you're in the area, definitely hit up David. Let him know Barricade sent you. And as always, brothers and sisters, stay safe and ride your ride.